you're a funny person to ask because you're running on the Libertarian Party, but are you surprised that the Democratic candidate is so far to the right of you on so many issues? Well, the, that, the fact that uh, I'm more liberal than uh, Obama on many issues and I'm a whole lot more conservative than Romney on a whole bunch of issues. Dollars and cents on the Republican side, uh, social issues on the Democrat side. Yeah, it's... The, what happened to the Democratic Party when the libertarians are so much more liberal on like 80% of the issues? Okay, now let's well, go to and, our... And what, and what happened to the Republican Party that, uh, well, that I know they what to balance them. the budget in 28 <laughs> years with uh, growth built into the budget? Uh, look, uh, let me offer up a prediction. Either one of these guys wins, we're going to be in a continued state of war. We're going to continue with our military interventions that I argue have us with hundreds of millions of enemies to this country that but for these military interventions wouldn't exist. We have a police state in this country that's growing. I'm going to suggest it continues to grow and I'm going to suggest that we continue to have unsustainable debt and spending. So uh, let's get to our point of disagreement there. Look, I want to balance the budget too. I consider myself a budget hawk, but I want to do it fairly and far more fairly than I would argue President Obama uh, suggesting. I, but I would increase taxes. I would agree with you in taking away the d nonsense wars, etc. How in the world are you going to balance the budget by lowering taxes? They, Governor Johnson, they, come on, the Jank, math doesn't Jank, add up. Jank, 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 Jank. Uh, the fair tax is designed to be revenue neutral. Uh, many score it as a designed reduction. To but be. Really, I'm not talking about uh, raising taxes or lowering taxes. I I'm talking about cutting spending. Uh, I'm talking about cutting spending to the tune of $1.4 trillion, and that is something that needs to start with Medicaid, Medicare, and military spending. You got Obama and Romney right now uh, debating over who's going to spend more money on Medicare when we need to have a raging debate and discussion in this country on how we slash Medicare spending or we find ourselves with no health care for those over 65. Governor, I mean, that's the alternative. A monetary collapse when the dollar, excuse me, go, go just very quickly, a monetary collapse when the dollars that we have in our pocket don't buy a thing because of the accompanying inflation that is going to go along with borrowing and printing money to the tune of 43 right, cents real, out of every real dollar. Real quick, I got to ask you, look, uh, obviously we disagree on Medicare too, but uh, Ron Paul supporters seem to be saying the same things you do, but you haven't been able to capture all of them. Why do you think that is? You know, I don't, I don't uh, from my vantage point, Jenk, uh, that's not the case. Uh, you're a Ron Paul supporter. I'm saying the same things as Ron Paul. Look, I ran for the Republican nomination. I thought it was going to really be hard to uh, marginalize two people on stage saying the same thing, Ron Paul and myself. I didn't find myself marginalized. I just right. found myself downright excluded. Uh, Ron right. Paul continued to be marginalized.